two nights ago i was praying and um, I, we, we had breakfast prayer initiative yesterday so automatically you will feel that when i'm praying the night before that meeting i should be praying for the meeting but uncontrollably i i saw that almost all through the prayer session i was praying for um this issue with niger many of you who watch your news you are aware that there's been a coup in niger and niger the uh, republic so i i didn't want to pray about it but you know the bible says the spirit maketh intercession in us uh, with groanings that cannot not be altered so i found the spirit of intercession praying that through me on friday night and i pray that god will restore peace and i'm saying it again that god will restore peace and that there will be no war there will be no intervention of ECOWAS forces as it were because based on what i saw it will be a serious disaster a serious a serious is something that has not happened in a long time but i don't know if this is a good news and even if it doesn't happen like this though i pray that it should happen but even if it doesn't happen like this at least um it's not god that lied it will be me who didn't see correctly but i'll tell you what i saw based on what i saw there will be no intervention of ECOWAS forces ECOWAS envoys arrived in Niger on Saturday afternoon in a last-ditch diplomatic effort to reach a peaceful solution to the leadership crisis. Niger's premier welcomed the delegation, which was headed by a Nigerian former military head of state. This approach will be crowned with success and I will report on the discussions to the current president of ECOWAS. Abdul Salami Abubakar met separately with General Abdurrahman Chiani, the gentle leader, and toppled President Mohamed Bazoum during his visit. He has been under house arrest with his family since the coup. Saturday's meetings joined reconciliation efforts by the UN Special Representative for West Africa and the Sahel, who arrived on Friday. Now, if you follow the news, you, you, you will almost laugh at what I'm just saying. Right? It's true. And I know this is a risk, but I will tell you what I saw. Based on what I saw, it will not hold somehow by diplomacy or whatever means there will be an agreement and peace will be restored 